Welcome, one and all, to Squirrels and Robots, episode 114. Thank you, John, for the tip this week. And if I've missed anyone as of this recording, we were kind of just running around doing stuff medically for the whole week. We'll get to you. Thank you. Oh, and thank everyone helping out in buying our new comic book. Thank you. Yeah, it's like weird. A lot of people seem to be into the new comic. You know, like a lot more than we thought. It's amazing. See? None of you had faith in my series. None of you! I hate you all! <laughs> wow. Yeah, relax, dude. It's not like you're on Amazon's top ten or anything, okay? I don't have to be. You can shove it! <laughs> okay. Also, we updated the itch.io and Gumroad um, comic page um, and Patreon as well to also include a PDF, as well as the comic book reader file, which some folks do not care for. I don't know. It's a pretty convenient format. I mean, like, 99% of people who are into digital comics kind of have some kind of comic book reader. But whatever. If you don't, there's a PDF version now that you can also access. So, there you go. It's only a matter of time before I'm a best-selling comic book author. I'm gonna take over the world, and I'm gonna go to comic cons, and I'm gonna have a series picked up by Netflix, and people are gonna say, Wow, uh, no one believed in you, but you believed in yourself. Good for you! Oh my god. Give it 20 years, dude. Let's see where you are then. Okay. Anyway, in non-political news... Well, well, all right, wait, wait. We should touch on one important political item, right? That being the proposed elimination of daylight saving times in the States. Okay, all right. That is a thing. Apparently, the government is attempting to pass the... Uh, Sunshine Protection Act, which would stop the incessant nuisance of changing the clocks twice a year. Sunshine Protection Act? You know, you blokes seem to have this daft patriotic lingo for even the simplest things. You know, war on drugs, defense production, sunshine protection, and you, you, you yanks always trying to defend, protect, or war something out or into existence. I want an animator protection act to ensure that cartoon makers stop suffering at the hands of fickle platform guidelines. Yeah, that's still a thing. Um, but good luck with that. Thank you. In fun news, Riff Tracks is making a game. Riff Tracks? Those blokes who make fun of old and weird movies. Yep. Um, apparently they teamed up with the makers of What the Dub, a fun game where viewers make up their own humorous dialogue for old movies. Um, yeah, so they're working with them to create a Riff Tracks game, which I'll assume will be somewhat similar, but with better jokes. Should be out in May from what I've heard, but that's all subject to change. I will buy that. With all those royalties I'm gonna make with my best-selling comic. Oh, God. Whatever. Um, millions of bottles of airborne gummies are being recalled, apparently, because they seem to be under such immense amounts of pressure that they're exploding all over the country in people's faces. What a time to live in! The government's trying to protect sunshine, and, and, and gummies are exploding in people's faces. What, what world am I living in? What reality do I, do I present myself in? Where do I exist? All right, relax. I get, I mean, that is a str strange. I mean, even for me, I talk to ice cubes. <laughs> it's just getting weirder out there. Anyway, um, as of this recording, it is St. Patrick's Day, so everyone going out and doing their thing, be careful. Don't be stupid. Call a cab or an Uber or walk. Designated drivers, you're up. I can't drive. <laughs> um, Mike Myers is playing a bunch of different characters in a Netflix movie called Pentavet. What? Pent Pent Pentaverit? Pentaverit. Pent hey, what is that even? Pentaverit, whatever. That is an odd name for a movie, so I can't even pronounce it. Pentaverit. What is that? Sounds like a drug, like, oh, you know, uh, ask your doctor about Pentaverit. If you have side effects may cause Mike Myers hallucinations, where you see one actor playing several parts throughout the day. <laughs> yeah, so for those who missed Mike Myers in movies, you're getting them back in abundance. Hopefully it's, hopefully it works. Mike Myers, it's such an odd time to be releasing a Halloween movie. <laughs> no, that's, it's a different Mike Myers, okay? Oh, in some not-so-happy news, the lead singer of the psychobilly band The Horror Pops, unfortunately, has been diagnosed with cancer, but are still planning tours, so good vibes to them, and hopefully everything works out. Yes, may everything work out! 
we need more spooky stuff in the world, and what better way to do that than, you know, ensuring spooky music fans stay alive. Yeah, just because they like dead things don't mean they have to die. Fix them! <laughs> um, from what I've read, they started a GoFundMe page to help pay for their medical bills, so there you go. Look into it. Um, oh, that reminds me. Doctors. I got all sorts of scopes and pokes by doctors last Monday, uh, and then they gave me pretzels. You what? I went to doctors, and they said, you sleep now! And they scoped me in all sorts of ways. So now, now we just wait to see if my galactic internals are imploding rigorously or collapsing most bogus. So, d- did you watch Bill and Ted recently? Yes, I didn't. What? <laughs> Well, at least you did the responsible thing and, you know, took some care for your physical well-being. You know, well, uh, if I don't do it, who will? Who will? <laughs> God, okay, relax. Uh. But for the reals, if someone like Horror Pops Lady can get the cancer, you go out and you get the screens for that, for that things. Uh, you, you, we get screens. I got screens on our skins, on our face, on our eyeballs, and our butt eyeballs, and it's all good, all right? So you do the good thing and say, hey, cancer, I hate you. I know you're there, but I'm going to find you first and destroy you. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, you got some after effects of the anesthesia or something? What the hell? <laughs> God. Um, yeah, but <laughs> Pilsy actually makes a point. People don't tend to take action unless they have to. So, preventative action is literally the least you can do, okay? And it just makes things a lot easier if they find things earlier than they do later. You know, I mean, you'd rather them, you know, find something, you know, early on, instead of, like, waking up one day and being like, Oi, I feel like rubbish, and why am I bleeding out my bum? Yeah, exactly. Um, just, yo, everyone, go check yourself out every once in a while, okay? I know it's a hassle and no one likes to do it, but much like exercise, we probably should every once in a while. I did, and I got pretzels. True story. You really did get pretzels? Yes. Are oh, you going to share those? No! He's a man! I did the responsible thing, so I get the pretzels! I am a world-famous author! God. <laughs> Do you not, okay? Just tone it down a little bit. Just just a bit. Okay. <laughs> all right, um... All right, well, anyway. Um, there's been casting for a new young Luke Skywalker for the Obi-Wan series. Proving, once more, Disney doesn't seem to want to move past the whole Skywalker aspect of Star Wars, even though there's a billion other stories they could write about. Give Mace Windu his own series. I would subscribe to Disney Plus if they made a Mace Windu series. Not, you know, I am not gonna lie. Samuel L. Jackson is an instant shut up and take my money kind of bloke. And him and Selma Hayek. Take my money. And anything anime. Take my money. Yeah, and baby metal. Oh, definitely take more money. <laughs> oh, uh, speaking of anime, that reminds me. That anime series Nana is, or Nana, I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's got a bit of a cult following. Um, it's getting a complete collection Blu-ray release somewhat soon. Nice, take more money. <laughs> what is wrong with everybody today? Jeez. Oh, um, and getting back to Star Wars, why don't they do Emperor Palpatine series? You know, like like what was happening between Revenge of the Sith and, you know, A New Hope. And, you know, that kind of thing. Fight Alice says Palpatine shows up in the Obi-Wan series. I can almost guarantee it. I would not doubt that. I, I, I can see that, you know. Hunt down the Jedi and destroy them all type performance, you know. Inquisitors and such. <laughs> yeah, something like that. The plot basically writes itself and unfortunately becomes somewhat predictable merely because of that. I predict... Papa Smurf becomes a Sith Lord because he's so powerful and wants some of that sweet, sweet Smurfette all to himself. But their love is a forbidden love. So he turns to the dark side in order to woo Smurfette, who is secretly a Padawan in hiding. Oh my god, stop reading fan fiction. Also, Gargamel is a furry. (laughs) Yeah, alright, here's the thing. Dude, what is with all the furries in fan fiction? As an actual furry creature... Frankly, I'm offended humans are going around in fur face. All right? It's offensive and derogatory. It's rude. It's just obnoxious. All right? You're being offensive to our species. You know, I, I don't know. You know, it's like, you know, I, I don't mind a cute cat girl every once in a while. You know, they're, they're kind of adorable. Cat girls do not poop in litter boxes unless it's an emergency. Did you know that? I asked. <laughs> wow. That's kind of a crass question to be asking a cat girl. Hey. I ask the questions humans are too afraid to ask. 
<laughs> yeah, freaking TMZ over here. Good job. Boy, by the way, that plushy poll. Did you get the results? Yeah, apparently I won the plush poll kind of by a landslide with Pilsy in second. Oh, all right. All right, fine. No love for Begley. All right, all right. I'll, I'll get it. Oh, let's shun the English and throw their tea in the ocean because we still all bit about 300 years ago. Yo, yo, dude. What? Yeah, dude, I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Your average viewer is not sitting there saying, yeah, screw Begley because of the English 300 years ago. <laughs> Come on. Well, all right, all right. Probably not. But, I mean, you know, all right, honestly, you know, Boston Tea Party and all that. Do you realize how much tea was wasted that day? <laughs> it was probably really good stuff, too. I'm kind of bitter about that. You weren't alive, okay? Everybody, including you, should stop dwelling on crap from the past that happened before you even existed, okay? It's like people getting offended by stuff that happened in the 20s. The 1920s. You weren't even alive. Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I guess it's just bad form to dwell on the past. We can all learn from it, but, um, you know, if we let it guide our future, you know, with resentment, uh, I think we're all doomed. Exactly. Yeah, dwelling on the past means a limited future. <laughs> Look, fortune cookie dispenser this one. Your lucky numbers are five, seven, two, go to hell! <laughs> wow, just saying, uh, the history is the past and a better present is a better future. Okay, um, we're wrapping this up. Okay, apparently Pilsy's getting a bit of an author ego here. I made a comic book and people bought it. So I'm a genius, yeah. Buy my book. Buy my book because it's a comic book. Oh, God. Um, yeah, but he does make a point. Um, a new comic was released, uh, on March 11th. It's huge. Big. Like 32 pages, full color, filled with all sorts of stories and that kind of thing. It's available on Gumroad, Amazon, and Itch. I always feel like I need to say itch.io, you know, because if I, if I just say, oh, go to the internet and search itch, it's like, you know, it's like, is this a rash? WebMD, hello? Itchy, here. Would you like to buy this cream? You know, it's like, I'll have to say itch.io, or it just gets all jank. Are we done? <laughs> oh, I think we're done. Yeah. Um, everybody, God, uh, St. Patrick's Day, again, be safe, designated drivers, cabs, Ubers, all that stuff. Also, um... After you get plastered, maybe make an appointment to get yourself screened for all sorts of things so you do not die. Yes, and buy my book. <laughs> uh, it's like a callback to The Critic. Remember that show? Yes, I remember The Critic. It was all like, buy my book. Yes. They should bring that back. I mean, John Lovitz is still alive. Bring back The Critic. Have him criticize YouTubers. It stinks. <laughs> oh, God, that would be pretty good, but probably wouldn't work. Um... We're going to wrap this up. Uh, be well, stay smart. That's pretty much all-encompassing. Uh, thanks for the support, picking up stuff, you know, spreading the word. Yo, know, even if you could do, like, tiny donations, Patreon, all that, whatever. Just, I don't know, enjoy the day, get a cookie. But don't touch my pretzels! They have been prescribed to me by doctors! Dude, pretzels are not prescribed. Oh, I got them from a doctor, that's... You're going to be better than your over-the-counter pretzels. Did you have to pay a deductible when you were prescribed those pretzels with your American health care? Oh, my God. I didn't even check to see if they charged me for these. These pretzels are probably going to be like $75. Yeah, you got to watch out for those prescription pretzel copays. Oh, these are going to taste less delicious now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Thank you.